Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we have an update to a crazy mod that has crazy units, including this apple guy. Here we're to show you him. Wait until you see what this apple guy can do. Hi. Did you know I go live every day on Twitch? Mr. Crowjack, up there? No? Oh. Okay. I'm a little concerned. If you take a look at this outfit, it's pretty epic, but he's got two apples over his head and he's rocking the, uh, the Bob Ross hair. The lovely, amazing Bob Ross hair. And we're just gonna toss him against some uh, hobbits. And we're gonna see what the apple guy does in three, two, one. Slow motion activate. Apple Bob Ross moves in for the kill, preparing to slaughter each and every single one of these adorable little halflings. How about some speed? Let him in there. Slow it down. He's nice and close. What is Apple Bomb Ross going to do? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what? This is slow mo. Pause. What just happened? Um, Mr. Apple Bomb Ross, sir. Um, you're 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 gonna go drown. You're you're going to drown. I mean, you look amazing. You look fantastic, but. You're not even going to hit those hobbits. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Ross is probably able to go Team Rocket style. Bye! And uh, there he goes. Bob Ross just chucked himself. And the apples didn't even kill the hobbits. Now, the hobbits are going lemming style. Why isn't Bob Ross dead? Why isn't the apple, whatever his name is, not dead? He should be drowning in the ocean right now. But he's not. And now the hobbits are just going to walk off the edge of the map. And kill themselves. Also, what is wrong with the uh, no neck hobbit? Anyone else see this guy? This guy right here with no neck and the white collar, rocking the uh, rocking the fur. It looks like a kid wearing a football outfit. You know what I mean? He's got the football shoulder pads, and they're way too big for him. And they're just like his head just barely poking up the top. And the lovely little lemmings go lemming style. Half of them died on the way down, but luckily the corpses of their oh, no, no, hold on, nope, nope, that one didn't make it. But the corpses are kind of cushioning the fall. See, look at that, boom. Perfect. Lemmings. Just going to drown. And some of them are walking on the corpses of their friends to get further into the ocean. What is even happening right now? And now we observe as this one little hobbit gets his ankles broke, didn't quite make it. Which hobbit's still alive? There's a bunch of hobbits here. Okay, you know what? We're done. We're done here, guys. The last unit was called the Apple Master. This one is called Little Brother. Look at the sheer amount of reaper tentacles on this guy that is insane that is terrifying that is intimidating i can't wait to see what this guy can do in three two one go those tentacles are going to destroy he's floating in the sky he's lunging in and the tentacles go and they pierce but they're not doing it in the rapid fire kind of lunging and grabbing way. I expected each tentacle to move independently, but instead they're moving as a group and piercing one opponent. And not every single tentacle is filled. Check that out. Many of the tentacles are empty. That's a really weird set of Reaper tentacles. Is this a different version than the one we're used to seeing where they just completely destroy things, kind of like that, as this little brother is wrecked? all these units this unit is called the sensei god and i get a feeling he's going to be throwing those shurikens in rapid succession and it's true and even though the samurai can deflect they can't deflect enough for the samurai god now here's a question can the samurai god get through the defense of a shogun because you guys know the shogun have way better deflecting powers and they're in and the samurai god did a really cool dodge but the shoguns have surrounded him oh my god one samurai god one sensei god just destroyed every single one of these shoguns. Are you kidding me? This unit is called the Landfall. And just looking at him, I have a funny feeling I know what is about to happen in 3, 2, 1, go! The Landfall. Oh, there's actually I accidentally summoned one tiny red squire. Sorry, little red squire, you're about to get wrecked. S sorry, that, that was my fault. That was very unfair of me. There is a landfall. He's walking in, getting ready to do something to all these squires. I think he's about to summon a whole bunch of dudes, and I'm correct. What, what, what did he just summon? Wait, wait. Are those also summoners? Did the landfall summon a bunch of... Oh my god, he did! The summoners are summoning skeletons. The landfall summons summoners, and the summoners summon skeletons, and the skeletons fight the squires, and the landfall is trying to backpedal. It's having a hard time. Um, Mr. Landfall, just, just back up the stairs. It's okay. 
It's okay, you can do it. You keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Um, why won't the summoner summon more skeletons? What's happening? Why won't the landfall summon more summoners? What's the cooldown on the landfall ability? Oh, wow. It's a 60 second cooldown. That's crazy. Not, not that it mattered. The skeletons did a really good job. We've already seen this unit, but I want to see it again. This is the... Oh, my God. <laughs> that was the crazy scientist and he already slaughtered all those pirate queens if you haven't seen the crazy scientist yet this is the crazy scientist this is on slow mo and the ice shines are dying left right and center the crazy scientist fires non-stop non-stop and creates this just like web of disgusting harpoons in every direction Wait until you see what we have in store for the crazy scientist. The crazy scientist is one of my favorite top five units. He destroyed that many leaders. Are you kidding me? I love seeing all the harpoons going in every direction and never retracting. It's just disgusting. Crazy scientist versus crazy scientist because I just wanted to see absolute man. <laughs> oh my God. My computer's not going to last. There are so many harpoons. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, okay, we gotta stop this fight. There's this crazy scientist flying in the sky. There are so many harpoons. Watch me try and get in there. Look at how many harpoons there are. It's just like, you can't even see the sun anymore. Once you're in the thick of it, it's just gray everywhere. All right, I'm gonna go up, 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 and out of the gray, looking down on the death, the destruction, and the mayhem. Crazy scientists, top five unit, in totally accurate battle simulator history, just mind blowing. As you can see, this mod has a bunch of amazing modded units, all sorts, so many, too many to sit here and to show you in this video alone, including the Halloween God, which is a terrifying looking thing. You guys should download this mod on your own time and check out so many of these amazing, very cool, very unique modded units. And I'm gonna let the impossible category of modded units complete with the crazy scientist, the summoning God, the, I don't know, what is that? We didn't even watch that one. Oh, don't forget this guy. The uh, little brother, kind of terrifying. We're going to have those guys versus the other category of modded units. I'm just going to watch them. Three, two, one, go full speed. Crazy fight. Summoning happening. Lots and lots of summoning. Little brother doing damage. Crazy scientist holding his own, continuing to fire out the harpoons in rapid succession until he got drowned and he got flung off the map. And you can see the harpoons going with him. That is amazing. But it seems like blue is destroying red way too powerful these blue units are way too good the impossible category is so much stronger than the simply you know good or strong get it gory is there a fight in the hallway i think there is something's happened I, and, and there's a crazy fight well, there's a spear god and he's stuck in the hallway in come some of these blue units the spear god's stuck maybe we can get him unstuck or the blue units can just swarm him that'd be kind of funny, interesting too oh the spear god is wrecked okay how do i get out okay Spear God's out. There we go. Spear, where'd he go? Spear God? And the Spear God got shoved off the mat and he's trying to fly. <laughs> he's done a pretty good job. You know what? I'll give him credit. He did a pretty good job. He flew for quite a while off the map. That was pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't do what I'm about to do. I just put a whole bunch of landfalls versus a whole bunch of landfalls. Sorry, these are, pause. Look at his helmet. <laughs> are you kidding me? Your head is massive. These are the summoning units that summon summoning units, so um, expect some insanity. Here come all the summoning units. Oh, there's so many. There's already so many units. Now wait until the summoning units summon skeletons. Here they come. The sh okay, hold on. Maximum slow-mo. I can't. I can't. I have to do maximum slow-mo. Hold on. Regular slow-mo? Can I get away with it? Oh, the frame rate's so bad. Maximum slow-mo. There's too many units. Like, this is a bad idea. My computer is going to melt. Maximum slow mo, and I'm getting all this frame rate lag. <laughs> Look at all. <laughs> Look at the massive amount of units. We're never even going to get a chance to watch them fight because every time more summon, you can see boom, boom, more summon, more summon, bam, bam, bam. It just gets gross. It just gets disgusting. I love this game, but sometimes some fights just, it shouldn't be attempted, it shouldn't be tried. Your computer's gonna die.